A look at the view from the Jackson Hill pedestrian bridge. You can see Buffalo Bayou has overflowed its banks in this part of the area. Uh, this green space, by the way, is designed to contain flooding to protect homes and businesses there. Sherman Chow is joining us downtown along Buffalo Bayou. Sherman. As you know, Buffalo Bayou runs through downtown. We're actually just across the street here from U of H downtown. And this below me is why we are nicknamed, yeah, the Bayou City. Water levels obviously very high. Below us, regulars in downtown know there's really a very pretty sort of park, a bike path, walking trails, those lamps back there that come on at night. But you would never know any of that right now. Several streets all around town are blocked off to keep vehicles from getting swamped and folks from getting into trouble. Plenty of low water crossing areas here. Allen Parkway is notorious for getting flooded and did not disappoint today. And you're also looking at Sesquicentennial Park, the bronze of James Baker, keeping an eye on what is usually a well manicured grass park, concrete steps and sidewalks right down to the water line. And all of this water pouring downstream pops those manhole covers right off of their seats in the asphalt, creating these sort of gurgling fountains, if you will. Harris County Flood Control District has been busy monitoring the waterways by dropping these orange buoys into the water. ADCP, it's a boat, it measures the, it seats, shoots a beam down to the bottom of the channel and then it helps us determine how high the water is and stuff like that. Four teams are monitoring Bray's, Clear Creek and Buffalo Bayou's figuring how, you know, how much uh, the volume of water, its speed and all of that important information for the flood control district. Now during Harvey, as you know, downtown was badly flooded. We have some buildings here behind me. Those took on a whole lot of water. The court system downtown still not functioning as normal and that was from Harvey back in 2017. So you know very well not to take Mother Nature lightly. Not Let around here. Sharon Min, thank you.